Greetings, everybody. Jeffrey Goodman, Strat Stratomatic Network. And we've got a, an afternoon ball game here. From Tiger Stadium in Detroit. Cleveland at Detroit. Make some coffee for the afternoon and we'll get ready for this ball game. And Kathy Harden has arrived. Happy for the Tigers. Got your coffee? I hope you got your coffee. Let's look at our lineups. We have two left-handers. Iced tea. Wow, that sounds good. For Cleveland, it's Jose Cardinal in center, Baker in left. Ike Brown, I'm sorry, Larry Brown at third, Harrelson in right, Tony Horton at first, Fossey catching, Eddie Leon at short, Fuller at second, and McDowell, the pitcher. For Detroit, it's Stanley in center, Northrup in right, Kaline at first, Willie Horton in left, Freehand the catcher, Don Wirt at third, Ike Brown at second. Cesar Gutierrez. At shortstop and Mickey Lolich. The pitcher, both left-handers. Detroit in second place. Cleveland in last.
And the Tigers take the field. It's Lolich on the mound. And leading it off is Jose Cardinal. Oh, Tigers took the first of this two game series. Okay, here's Lolich now, the pitch to Cardinal. That's 6'8", right-handed, and it's a liner to third. Caught by Wirt, one away, we're underway. Here's Frank Baker. This'll be lefty-lefty. Pitch from Lolich. Three six left handed walked him. So Baker is on. Now the batter is Larry Brown. Here's Lolich now. Six eleven right handed grounds to short, and it is a double play. Gutierrez to Brown to K line. Six eleven right handed. And that will retire the side, no runs. No hits, a walk, and none left after a half. Cleveland nothing. Detroit coming up. And we got a question top of the second. Excellent. Excellent. Here is Sam McDowell. On the mound. Sam has won 12, Lola 17. Here's Stanley to lead it off. Three seven, 
Left-handed, single. That is a re-roll. Three five left-handed struck him out. One down. Oh, here's Jimmy Northrup now. This is also lefty lefty. Five five left handed, and that's a liner to second, caught by Fuller, two outs for K line. Pitch 2K line, 111 left handed, grounds it to first for Tony Horton. And McDowell will cover the bag. And it's a 1 2 3 for McDowell. We've gone one, it's scoreless here. Now let's give it up here, Kathy Harden with a question. I bet you it's going to be a good one. The Mafia made a lot of money during the Depression with an illegal daily lottery of a three-digit number that they used. Where did that number come from? Oh, Lord. No clue. No clue. Oh, anybody at all. A three digit number. I really don't know. Oh, God, I don't know. An illegal daily lottery of a three-digit number that they used. Where did that number come from? I'll take a guess. Local racetrack. Found in newspapers. That's pretty wild. It's a pretty wild thing. I'm not sure how that worked.
Better's got 600 times their bet, and Mafia got 40%. Wow. And this was during the Depression. Thank you for that awesome question here, Kathy Harden. Thank you. Great question. Is it interesting how people like Al Capone finally, he ended up in prison, died. Of syphilis, I believe. And many of them a terrible end. Here's Lolich now, top of the second. Thank you for that question. Here's Hawk Harrelson to lead it off. Lolich now, the wind up. <clears throat> 110 left handed, grounds to short for Gutierrez. One away. Now Tony Horton. Five four right handed catcher X. Free hand two three. He popped it up. E three five nine ten. And he makes the catch. And that'll be two away. And here's Ray Fossey. One nine left-handed struck him out. So the side is retired, one, two, three by Lolich. We're in the middle of the second, it's scoreless. It's Lolich and McDowell. Our next game is Oakland at Kansas City. And H.D. Jackson is still, he pinch hits. He pinch hits in this game. It'll be Blue Moon for Oakland and Headland for Kansas City. He actually pinch hit in a losing effort. Here's Willie Horton now to lead it off. Mm -hmm. 
4-6 right-handed, and there's a drive hit out into left. Going for it is Baker, and he makes the catch. <clears throat> One away. It was a 4-6 right-handed. Now Bill Freehand. Real bloodbath this week in the market. Let's take it in stride. <sighs> Kathy Harden for the Tigers. Pitch to freehand, 2 4 left handed. Ballpark slash. Right handed hitter. And that goes through for a base hit. First hit for the Tigers today. It's freehand on first one out. Here's Don Wirtz. Nick Dell from the stretch. It's one six left handed, pops it up to second. For Fuller, two outs. And now here's Ike Brown. We have Larry Brown, we have Ike Brown. We have Willie Horton, we have Tony Horton. Keeping them straight here on the Stratomatic Network. McDowell now. Pitch to Ike, 4-9 right-handed, struck him out. So that's the second strikeout for Sam. The side is retired. It's no runs. The single by freehand, left on base. We've gone two. And it's scoreless. Get a little more coffee going here. Leading it off for Cleveland, Eddie Leon. Lolich is ready, the wind up, the pitch to Leon. 210 left handed smack, a double into left center for Eddie Leon to lead it off. And it was clean. 210 left handed. There it is. Double left. Eddie on second. Nobody out. First hit off Lolich. And here's Vern Fuller. From the stretch, Lolich. 2-7, and he struck him out. That's the second for Mickey. One down. And here's McDowell. Question, top of the fourth, awesome. Keep them coming, please. Six, seven, 
Left-handed struck him out. That's three for Mickey. It was a 6-7 left-handed. Two down now. Clutch situation for Jose Cardinal. They had the leadoff double. And then Lola struck out the next two batters. Ah, oh, that's good coffee. Oh. Oh. Okay, here's Lolich trying to get out of this. Jose at the plate. Clutch situation. That's 4 7 right handed. Struck him out. Lolich strikes out the side after allowing a leadoff double. That was a 4 7 right handed. So it's no runs, the leadoff double by Eddie Leon, left on base, all by his lonesome. We're in the middle of the third. No score here, here's Sam McDowell. Cesar Gutierrez to lead it off. Lolich on deck. Here's McDowell. Two ten left-handed, uh, pops it up. Foul, uh, left third base side. Foul territory, under it is Larry Brown to make the catch, one away. Now here's Lolich. Switch hitter. He's batting right against McDowell. That's 311, fly ball center, and it's Jose under it. Two outs. For Mickey Stanley. Three five left handed struck him out. And that's the third strikeout for McDowell and a one two three inning. Both pitchers. Looking in very good form, we've gone three, and this is a scoreless ball game. And let's see what Kathy's got for us right now here. Please come into live text, answer the question. You'll get a red Mike and Ike if you get it right. Hey, Kelly has arrived. Greetings, Kelly. What word describes something you see, hear, smell, taste, or feel that appeals, appears real, but isn't? Oh, God. Jeez. What word describes something you see, hear, Smell, taste, it could be any kind of sensorium that appears real, but isn't. I mean, Lord. Well, I guess I would. Oh, 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 I think I have it. Mirage. 
oasis. Okay, it's a hallucination. Well, I guess I should have known that. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. I should have known that, Kathy. Great question, super question. I should have known that. I mean, it's my own goddamn field. We'll take a little break for about three minutes and I'll be back at Scoreless here in Detroit. Welcome back, everybody. Jeffrey Guterman. I'm in Studio B in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And this is the 1969 replay. We welcome Puck, Kelly Hibbs, of course, Kathy, and everybody else. We've gone three at scoreless. Three, uh, two great pitchers, Mickey Lolich, 
and McDowell. Both left-handers, Lolich on the mound, top of the fourth. And here's Frank Baker. If all goes well with me, I might do an evening game. That Oakland game at about 5.45, 6 p.m. Eastern, if anyone's interested, maybe. I'll see if I'm up to it. Here's Lolich now. Pitch to Baker, that's 4-3 left-handed, grounds to second, that's for Ike Brown. One down. And here's Larry Brown. And Demos has arrived. Demos is here. Here's Lolich. Pitch to Brown, 6'10", right-handed, ballpark slash. That's an 18, I don't think that's going through. No, it's not. It's lined to short. Of course, he likes 6'10". He likes to fly it to left demos. And we could do that. The only thing is if it affects how runners are, that might not work. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, the way Stratomatic intends. Two outs now. You know what I'm saying, uh, David? You know, you, you, you go with that and if you don't go with the line out, then it's gonna, it, there's always a chance that there's gonna be a something, like a ground ball something or whatever it is. Do all the slashes refer to outfield? See, there's a ground ball pitcher B on a slash on Horton, 1-4. If you go with that, that's going to be a lot different than... H.D. Uh, Jackson is uh, going to... He pinch hit in real world uh, on this date. So H.D. is available. I won't start him. But I'll use him to pinch hit if needed. Only if needed. So he's not injured now. Two outs, here's Hawk now. Lolich. That's gonna be four six right-handed, walk ten. So Hawk draws a walk. One to fifteen with a lead. If held, he'll be held. We're gonna try for the lead. We're gonna go for this. That is a five. He gets the lead. He has to go. Again, one to 15. Plus two. Oh shit, I made a mistake. I looked at McDowell instead. Oh, ho, ho. he'll be a one to 15, one to 13. Oh my, with a lead. And he's safe. He's safe anyway. That's on, on me. Hawk Harrelson, he, he has surprising speed there. <laughs> Look at that, he got the lead, he was being held, one to 15, Lolich quotient zero. And he was a one to 13 with the lead. And now he's in scoring position. Here's Tony Horton. Nice steal by Hawk Harrelson. You know, he's a one to 14, a B. Stole 17 out of 26 uh, attempts. 
Whoa, here's Tony Horton now. Hawk on second, two down. This is a clutch situation here. Yeah, I could use a dog, you know that? I have a frozen pizza for tonight. That I could use a dog with mustard. Not too much though. <laughs> Oh, Lord help me. Here's Horton now. Clutch situation, low lit. That's going to be 5'10 right-handed. Grounds to short X. That's Gutierrez. Three forty four. This could be trouble now. ha. <laughs> Three forty four seven three G three pound. No one being held there. E forty four six eleven twelve. And he makes the play, and the side is retired. Nice play by Gutierrez. By the way, the Tigers have won nine in a row in this. Uh, in this replay right now. We're heading to the bottom of the fourth. The winning streak, the record for the longest winning streak this year is 12 by St. Louis. They won that one on August 31. Within the 1969 Replay, I should say four, August 31. Okay, so still scoreless, and here's McDowell. It'll be Northrop, K-Line, and Willie Horton. Here's McDowell now. That's 5-2 left-handed, chops to second. Fuller a 319. Eleven three G two. E nineteen. Three six seven. And he makes the play. One out. Here's Al K line now. McDowell, he gets the sign from Ray Fossey, the catcher, the youngster. Here's the pitch to K-Line now. That's 6-8 right-handed, grounds to third, and Larry Brown has it, and throws him out, two away. And now here's Willie Horton. Make some sweet music, Willie, in Motown. Here's the pitch to Horton. 5-5 five, five, right-handed. Swung on, that is a liner to short caught by Eddie Leon, and the side is retired. He hit it well, though. McDowell's retired eight in order. And we've gone four at scoreless. Here's Lolich. Both pitchers with one hit shutouts. 
<clears throat> through four. Here's the youngster, Ray Fossey. All right, Lola. And the pitch to Fossey, 310 left handed, ballpark slash. Right handed five, that looks like it's going through, and it does. It's a base hit for Fossey, the youngster. He hit 172 in 116 at bats. Fossey is on, and here's Eddie Leon. It's only the second hit for Cleveland. Okay, here's Lolich now from the stretch. Eddie doubled in the third to lead it off, left on. The pitch from Lolich. That's one nine left handed, struck him out. That's the fifth strikeout for Mickey. Boy, he had a good ratio this year. I don't know that he always had that kind of ratio. Maybe. Here's Vern Fuller now. Fossey on first. With one out. Here's Lolich. And the pitch. That's gonna be four six right handed, walked him. So Lolich has put two on here in the fifth, first and second, and McDowell comes up. McDowell A. Bunter. He's a two WL. Infield stays back, he's an A. Uh, a, he's going to lay it down, and he does. It's hit, dribbled in front of the catcher, 10A, and it's good. Freehand can only go to first on that. And runners are now second and third on the hope that Jose Cardinal can do a clutch hit here. And field back, two outs, one, uh, two outs. Jose 0 for 2. Here's Lolich now trying to get out of this. The pitch to Jose. That's 6 7 right handed, walks him. I was thinking of it anyway. To pitch to Baker. Lolich has loaded the bases here. His first endurance is the eighth because Frank Baker is not quite the, well, Jose didn't, his average was about the same. Jose, can you see? He can, good eye, Jose. Drawing that base on balls. Here's Larry Brown, base is full, two down. Lolich, try to get out of this. This is a clutch situation. Here's Lolich. Pitch to Brown, 5-9 right-handed. Grounds to short X. That's going to be for Gutierrez. He's a 344. Hold your breath now. Ho, ho, ho. On the 44 part. 344, 11-3. He gets to it. G2. And here's the tough part, E44. Uh-oh, 5, 9, 12. E44, and he makes the play. Jose, uh, Jose. 
<laughs> what the hell is his, his, his first name? <laughs> Cesar Gutierrez with another pretty play at short. And the side is retired. It's no runs, one hit, two walks. And three, count them, three left on. Lolich got out of that. We're heading to the bottom of the fifth. Can't say Cleveland didn't try on that. Okay, Sam McDowell on the mound now. He's still a one-hit shutout here. Still allowed one hit. Two hits now allowed by Lolich. Here's freehand. It'll be freehand Wirt and Ike Brown. McDowell. Pitch to freehand. 5-5, five, five, right-handed, and that is a liner to short caught by Leon. One away, and he's retired nine in a row. Kathy Harden for the Tigers. Here's Works. McDowell gets the sign from Fossey. The wind up, the pitch two words. Four six, right handed. And that's a drive hit out into left center, and it's dropping. And work in with a double. A one out double. It was four six right handed. Double one to nine. It was a one. So now word on second, that's only the second hit allowed by Sam. <clears throat> and here's Ike Brown. McDowell from the stretch. Four eleven right-handed. And that's a base hit. Just past the reach of Eddie Leon. Wirt goes to third and holds. But all is not lost yet. It's first and third, one out. Gutierrez coming up. Infield is back. Look at that again, 4-11. Right-handed, it was single, one to six. It was a two on that pesky red die. And here's Cesar Gutierrez. It's Ike Brown on first, Wirt on third, one down. The infield is back. Here's McDowell now. Whew. The pitch to Gutierrez. That's going to be 4-6 right-handed. And that's a drive hit out. Into the gap in left field, it's a double for Gutierrez. Three straight hits. Wirt scores. That's the same spot that they hit the double last time. Ike rounding third. It was hit to left. Ike, one to 13. No one being held, one to 14. This will be <coughs> one to 15. Lord. They're going to try for it. <coughs> Here's Baker trying to throw Ike out at the plate, and he's safe. Two runs knocked in. Gutierrez goes to third on that. A two-run double. Suddenly, sa suddenly Sam stinks. Say that five times fast. Here's Lolich now. <clears throat> Action in the Cleveland bullpen. It, the, the bullpen is very well rested. Only law is precluded. Burkhart is warming. He's the right-hander. And Juan Pizarro, his last date is the 20th. 
left-hander. He'll go to Oakland after this. Now it's Gutierrez on third one out. Here's Lolich now. They're gonna bring the infield in. Here's the pitch, 6-9, switch hitter batting right, grounds to short X. Uh-oh, that might have been a mistake. It's Eddie Leon, 438. Four thirty-eight, four four. That's going to be a base hit. No matter how you cut it, he's coming home. An S two single, six eleven, uh, six eleven fifteen. Eddie E thirty-eight, six fifteen, uh, six eleven fifteen. It's going to be an S two single, and Gutierrez will score and that's going to be it for mcdowell that's enough that's it may seem a little premature to some of you but three runs here and that's it he pitched four and one third and just fell apart here one two three four five hits four four hits in a row I mean, you could keep him in if you want. See if he settles down, but why? Why bother? Mickey Stanley will be the batter. We'll bring in the right-hander, Larry Burkhart. Burkhart taking his warm-ups. Okay, here we go. Three nothing Tigers. Here's Stanley now. Lola on first, one down. Six eleven right handed ballpark slash. I don't think that's going through. Fifteen right handed. No, it's not. It's a liner to short, and it's caught by Eddie Leon, two away now. And here's Jim Northrop. Northrop 0 for 2. That's 6-11 left-handed. Oh, it's a ballpark blast by Northrop. Oh, my. This is in Detroit. Oh, it's a 17 left-handed. Oh, my, it's gone. Jimmy Northrop on a 1-17 to left-handed. It's that porch. It's that right field porch, which extends over right field. One to 17, it is gone. A two run home run. That'll be that one of those will be charged to McDowell. A two run home run by Northrop, five runs in this inning. Four of them charged to Sam. And that's Jimmy Northrup with the home run. Boy, he's been consistent all year long. <sighs> For Jimmy, that is home run number 18. He had 25 in the real world, so he's just a, a little, he's a bit of behind. 25 home runs, that's pretty good.
Here's here's K line now. Two outs, nobody on. Four, five, nothing. Five nothing Tigers. Five runs here in the fifth. Burkhart. Five two right handed walked him. So Burkhart having his troubles. And here's Willie Horton now. Willie is 0 for 2. That's 3 6 right handed. Lines it to first, caught by Tony Horton. So Willie Horton lines to Tony Horton. And the side is retired. After five runs by the Tigers here in the bottom of the fifth. We've gone five, it's five nothing. Here's Lolich now. Larry Brown to lead it off. Top of the sixth. Get some coffee here. This is it. This is it for the coffee. Whoa. Must have to tough this out. God. Top of the sixth. Okay, Lolich is ready. He's throwing shutout baseball. Two hit shutout baseball. Got into a trouble in the fifth. Loaded him up, got out of it. Here's Lolich. That's 3 8 left handed. Pops it up to second for Ike Brown. One out. Now here's Hawk Harrelson. Five seven right handed grounds to second X. Ike Brown four thirty. Four thirty two four goes through base hit S two. E thirty. Six, ten, twelve, and he boots it. It's an S two E one. That'll be a single and an error. Error charged to Ike. First error of the ball game. Here's Tony Horton now. Again, Hawk on second now, one out. Here's Horton, 0 for 2 today. <sighs> Lolich, 310. Left-handed, base hit to right for Tony Horton. This could score Hawk. That's Northrop minus one, uh, infield back. Hawk one to 14, one to 15. One to 14, he'll hold. Down by five. First and third one out, here's Fossey now. We'll let him hit.
That's three nine left-handed, struck him out. Number six for Mickey. And here's Eddie Leon in a clutch situation. Here's Lolich. Five nine right handed, grounds to short X. It's Gutierrez again. Boy, has he been tested today. 344. Three forty four eighteen three G one gets to it. E forty four four seven eight. And that that looks like an eight to me. He's gonna boot at that time. G one E one. Lord. I'm gonna pull out our just to make sure, because that gets dark there. It's a 478 E40 uh E44. It is an 8. It's an E1. We don't take any chances. It's going to be a, a, a G1 E1. Another error. This one by Gutierrez. That'll score Harrelson, and that will be unearned. So it's first and second, two outs. It's a five to one ball game. And here's Vern Fuller. Two errors in the inning for Detroit. Okay, here's Lowlich trying to finish this inning. The pitch to Fuller. That's 6-10 right-handed. Oh, there's a slash. It's going to be 18, though, right-handed. And it's a liner to short. And the side is retired. Gutierrez with the catch. But one run, it was unearned. On two hits, two errors. Middle of the sixth, 5-1. Here's Burkhardt now. His last inning for sure because he's due up. Well, no, he's not due up. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, he's due up next inning. Bottom of the sixth. Freehand leads it off. Juan Pizarro would be the pitcher for Cleveland. Uh, here's Burkhard now. That's going to be 2-7 right-handed. Walked him. Free hand is on. Now done work. One five right handed walked him. Burkhardt is not yet in his second endurance inning. He came in and retired two. Then he'll be, after the first out, he'll re be in his first endurance inning. First and second, no out, Ike Brown. Five six right handed fly ball center. It's Jose to make the catch one away. Now it's an endurance inning here. Here's Cesar Gutierrez. Lolich on deck. Three 
310. Whew. That's going to be a ground ball second day. First and second. Batter is out. It's a double play. No matter what way you dice it, we'll call it four to six to three, and the side is out. No runs, no hits, two walks to lead off the inning, and Burkhardt gets out of it. And that's it for Burkhardt. He pitched one and two thirds. Whoops. And here's Lolich, top of the seventh. There's gonna be a hitter here for Burkhart. And it'll be Juan Pizarro coming in next inning. Duke Sims is going to hit. He pinch hit in real world. Just as a guideline, we use that. We don't have to. But it makes it a little more realistic. Here's Duke now. Oh, this is lefty lefty. Wow. This is lefty lefty. Wait a minute. Let me take that back. Jesus Christ. Bring in Suarez. Right-handed hitter. Here's Suarez. Facing Lolich. Lolich. His first endurance is the eighth. It's 5-1 Tigers. Here's the pitch to Suarez now. That's going to be 6-5 right-handed. Struck him out. And that's the seventh for Lolich. Now Jose. 0 for 2 and a walk. That's going to be 1-9 left-handed. Oh, my. It's hit well by Jose. Into the gap for a double. Jose with a one-out double. Shit. And here's Frank Baker. Baker 0 for 2 and a walk. That's 5-3 left-handed fly ball right X. Northrop 2-6. F2 gets to it. E6, 6-10-12. And he makes the catch. It's going to be an F2. Clean with a runner on second. And that runner will let him hold. Two outs now. And here's Larry Brown. Four eight right handed. Oh my. That's a drive hit out to left. It's hit well. Running for it is Willie Horton, and he makes the catch. And that will retire the side. Nice catch by Willie Horton of a fly ball hit by Brown. No runs, one hit, the double by Jose. Seventh inning stretch here. 
Oh, you were caught up in the game. Well, it's up to you. Would you like one? I got all the time in the world. Or, or do you want to you want to do it or you, you just want to let it go? We can let it go. What's your choice? You almost forgot. Uh, is it going to be a double? As Juan Pizarro comes out to take his warm-ups here, it's 5-1 Tigers. She's going to do it. It's a double shot, folks. gonna do it boy that's tough <laughs> what was the name of the hangout restaurant on happy days oh lord You know, I don't remember that. Does anybody know that? Put that in, will you? <sighs> Arnold's. Dana Anderson with Arnold's. I bet you she's right. Whoa, Dana Anderson, whoa, you get a red jelly bean. Great, great, great answer from Dana. And we're glad to hear from you. Arnold's. Dana gets it. You know how you can forget things well, we got another one coming up, folks. Oh, there's another one coming up. The Cubs gave this fan a World Series ring in 2016. Oh. I forgot that. Uh, I'm going to say Bartman. Is that his name? The kid who, who messed it up the first time with interference. Is his name Bartman? <laughs> oh, Lord, that was wild, wasn't it? Thank you, Kathy Harden. Great questions. Super questions, Kathy. And folks, I got some news for you. We're going to have to discontinue this game because we're so close to 5 p.m. Steve Bartman. Uh, those were some great questions. Uh, I have a phone call I get every day from my son. He calls sometime between 5 and 5.30. I just don't want to mess this. I don't want this on my mind. I'm going to most likely pick this game up this, after, uh, this evening, late this, uh, late this afternoon at about 5.45. And I might also tack it on to the next game, which would be Oakland 
at Kansas City. So I want to thank everybody for being here. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, Dana, for your answer. Uh, Kelly, baseball demos, Puck, Mr. Puck, um, and everybody else. Stay strong, stay well. And I'll catch you next time.